That process costs time. Four grips, vertical or angled, give better control. This isn't just any rifle. According to CNN, the AR-15 platform is one of the best-selling rifles in the United States. More than 24 million of these are in civilian circulation. That's a huge number. It doesn't even count the military and law enforcement versions used in countries around the world. Why so popular? Part of the reason for this popularity is the design itself. The AR-15 is a platform, not just one fixed gun. That means it's built so pieces can be swapped out. Different barrels, stocks, optics, grips, you name it. That flexibility is a huge part of why people buy them. Short barrels make the gun easier to move in tight spaces. Long barrels help you group shots at farther ranges. Because the design is so adaptable, lots of companies make parts and full rifles. That creates a big industry. Huge factories, armies of machines. The history. But before we walk the factory floor, we need to go back to the 1950s. In 1959, Armalite sold the design to Colt's manufacturing company. Colt tweaked it, scored a contract with the U.S. Air Force, and created a version called the M16. The M16 went on to become the standard service rifle during the Vietnam War. and is still used by militaries around the world. Meanwhile, the civilian AR-15 stayed on the market as a semi-automatic rifle. Over time, the phrase modern sporting rifle, highlighting that it could be adapted for everything from competition shooting to varmint hunting. That flexibility is exactly what has kept it popular for decades. So when you hear AR-15, think of a platform, not just one single gun. It's like a base model car that can be fitted with different engines, tires, and gadgets. The heart of the idea is a lightweight, reliable rifle that you can personalize. And that's what we're about to see inside this factory. Our tour starts at Daniel Defense in Georgia. from concept to components. One of the biggest AR manufacturers in the US. The place is massive. More than 300,000 square feet of space, buzzing with machines, works, and high-tech tools. They produce more than 40,000 rifles a year.
Every rifle begins as a plan. Engineers sit at their workstations and design every component using CAD software, computer-aided design. These 3D models show exactly how each part will fit together and let them test tolerances on screen before any metal is cut. It's like building the rifle digitally before it's built physically. Oh. Once the design is locked in, the materials are chosen. Receivers are usually made from high-strength aluminum alloys, while barrels are cut from steel. Each batch of raw material is tested for strength and durability. You don't want a weak barrel or a receiver that warps under stress. This planning phase is where quality begins. By making sure the digital model is precise and the materials are top-notch, the factory sets the stage. Think of it as prepping your ingredients before you cook a big meal. Everything has to be ready, measured, and high quality. Otherwise, the final dish won't come out right. Machining and forging the parts. Now we're in the heart of the operation, the machine shop. This is where raw metal turns into the components you recognize. Walk past rows of advanced lathes, CNC mills, and automated systems. Daniel Defense runs 13 advanced lathes and 11 automated machining setters just for AR-15 parts. It's a mix of human skill and robotic precision. Take the barrel as an example. Um, it starts as a simple steel bar. And That bar goes into a gun drill, which bores a perfectly straight hole through the center. Next, it's honed until the inside is as smooth as a mirror. Then comes hammer forging. In just three and a half to four minutes, the bar is pounded around a mandrel, a steel rod shaped like the inside of a finished barrel. This forges the rifling, the spiral grooves that spin the bullet, directly into the steel. The result is a barrel that lasts longer and shoots straighter. Other parts like the handguard, charging handle, and receivers are cut on CNC machines from solid aluminum blocks. Robots like the Sakata finishing arm polish surfaces to exact tolerances, giving each part a clean, consistent look. High-end machines mean fewer errors, better fit, and more reliability down the road. They've been cut, drilled, forged, and finished to match the digital blueprint. Next stop, turning those piles of parts into an actual rifle.
Assembly and Testing. This is the stage most people imagine when they think, factory. Workers at benches assemble lower receivers, uppers, triggers, stocks, and barrels into complete rifles. Each build station has all the specialized tools needed to torque screws, state gas keys, and check head space. Jim Ross, the build team leader, oversees quality at every step. Once assembled, rifles head into quality control. Receivers are measured, triggers are tested, and safety selectors are clicked on and off. Anything even slightly off spec is fixed before moving forward. Then comes the fun part, testing. First is a 10 round firing test at an indoor range. This checks accuracy, cycling, and ejection. The second test simulates outdoor combat conditions. Rifles are fired and handled in more open environments to check reliability and ergonomics. Finally, there's the durability test, the toughest of all. Rifles are exposed to dust, mud, water, and extreme temperatures to see if they'll still run. Only the rifles that pass all three tests move on to packaging and shipping. This heavy testing is why good AR-15s feel consistent out of the box. It's not just assembled and sent out the door. It's assembled, inspected, fired, abused, and only then approved for sale. That process costs time and money, but ensures that when a customer opens the box, the rifle's ready to go. Extensions and versatility. There's just one last thing before we finish the tour, accessories. The AR-15's modular nature means endless add-ons. Optics are the most obvious. Red dot sights for speed, magnified scopes for distance, or holographic sights for a mix of both. Four grips, vertical or angled, give better control. Free-floating handguards improve accuracy and provide rails for lights and lasers. Muzzle devices like flash hiders, brakes, or suppressors cut recoil and muzzle flash. Each accessory tailors the rifle to a specific job. That's the real secret behind the AR-15's long-lasting popularity.